In this tutorial, we're going to highlight some of the sliders in the painter window. Again, we're using the Sky Surfer model, so please feel free to follow along. We're going to select a large area of the model, like the spine. We'll go into paint mode, and with the add remove weights selected, you'll notice there are three sliders. The first one is the weight slider. This determines how much total weight is added. In this case, if I set this down to 0.28 and my strength is at 1, this means I can only paint 0.28 worth of weight at each time. Alternatively, if I set my weight to 1 and my strength low, this allows me to only paint 0.13% of that overall one influence weight. Typically this is how I paint. I will select an influence and with each stroke I'll add a minimal amount of weight across the vertices. Size is the size of your brush and in this mode you can simply resize the brush interactively by holding down the W key, clicking on the left mouse button, and dragging your mouse left or right. Let's move on to other aspects of the painter window. The Add Remove Weight tool will add or remove weights from a mesh you'd like an opacity slider. By setting your strength down low, you can ensure that only a minimal of weight will be reduced. By setting up high, you can effectively paint your mesh at one influence for that selected joint. The weight sliders, as always, can be double clicked on and their values can be manually set. The target weight will basically allow you to paint an even targeted weight across a mesh, where add remove weight will add or remove influence to a previous weight value, target weight will simply replace and add. In the case of strength to one and target weight to half, you can ensure that you will be painting only 0.5 weight influences and not adding or subtracting to, to get a greater number on each stroke. Essentially, when using these two brushes, it's important to notice that adding weight is easier with the strength slider and removing it as well. Your weight slider on the add remove brush is better set to one. When using the targeted weight brush, it's better to set strength to one and adjust your target weight to your desired setting. For instance, if I only want 70% of the weight on this arm to be on my painted mesh, I can be assured that 70% will only go onto those vertices. With Add Remove, if I set my strength down and I add weight to it, You'll notice that I've added more weight to the left and kept the right clean. Now when I paint down the middle, I will add further more weights to the left and only a little to the right. Using the smooth paintbrush does just exactly what it sounds. It will allow you to smooth the blending between your strokes. Typically I use a high strength value when dealing with smoothing as it gives the best results. The paint selection brush is very useful for topology painting and selecting vertices. By using a combination of back face culling or camera face culling, you can effectively drive along the topology of a mesh and isolate the vertices in one clean stroke. Holding down control will obviously add selection to those vertices, while holding down alt will remove those selections. 
as, say, as with all the other painting tools, backface culling will not only paint the front, but also the back, and will select the vertices accordingly. The different brush modes in Nikitsu is a new feature, and it will allow you to paint a different variety of strokes for your needs. In the case of adding weights along this strip, you'll notice that I have a smooth feather around my painted path. By going to the classic brush, you'll notice that I'll have a more accurate blocking painting across all the vertices. Other painting tools in Akitsu are things like the weight scanner tool. The weight scanner tool is used in conjunction with any other brush and acts as a toggle. It provides you useful information using the cursor to pinpoint a specific weight on a vertex. In this case, while traversing the mesh, we can see that this vertice has actually more than four influences. It's distributed between spine two, spine three, clavicle, arm, and the collar. Holding down shift, I can then select the affected vertice. Going into my skin atelier window, I can see where my influences might be inappropriately distributed. In this case, the arm is the lowest value, and I will set that to zero to the, again reduce my weight for that vertice influence number down to four instead of five. Weight painting in Akitsu is an art form, and its technical abilities allow you to more accurately control how your mesh is deformed, and it gives you the tools necessary to spot issues like max influence ish problems that may show up later on during export and in your game engine.